The 1933 film King Kong was a classic, one of the industry standouts of the first half of the 20th century, and made King Kong himself into an iconic figure. The classic arcade game Donkey Kong obviously borrowed from the concept. Interestingly, Tiger Vision's 1982 game for the Atari 2600 King Kong rips Donkey Kong off right back. I guess turnabout is fair play, but only if the game is good, I suppose. The simple goal is to climb the Empire State Building with the unnamed man to save the unnamed damsel in distress at the top from King Kong. I know her name was Anne in the film, but the manual simply refers to her as the girl. So like Donkey Kong, you have to climb the ladders to slowly scale your way up each platform. But in King Kong, you underline the word slowly pretty heavily, because I'm sure you noticed by now, you run about a half mile an hour. Instead of barrels, King Kong sends bombs that glide their way across the floors that you have to jump over. The hit detection seems a bit off here. All you have to do is be in a jumping motion and you're going to clear the bomb no matter how close you get to it. But that's good considering how slow the jumping motion is and how low to the ground you are throughout the jump. You'd never be able to clear these bombs completely otherwise. The bombs will drop down the gaps in the floor, which is an obstacle you also have to jump over, but it's never clear whether the bombs are going to slip down the ladder or not, nor can you predict accurately which direction they'll go, and they'll also make their way up the ladders. So it's really a guessing game, and you'd be better served to not wait too close to the ladder when a bomb is nearby. There are also magic bombs. Jumping over them will send you up a level, which is neat, but once in a while you'll get fucked over and land right in a gap and die. After you get about halfway up the building, King Kong will climb up and then pop back up through the bottom. That's when the bombs reverse direction and go up the ladders. And when you get to the top platform, you can't jump at all, which is freaking stupid. So when you get here, you have to make sure that there are no bombs nearby before you even climb to this platform. The graphics are pretty bland and blocky, although the animation is pretty decent on the humans. Unfortunately, much like Donkey Kong's 2600 sprite, King Kong gets the gingerbread man treatment. The soundtrack is god-awful. I know it's a primitive console when it comes to music, but the Atari was capable of much better quality. The five-note loop gets tiresome pretty quickly. King Kong loses all points for originality, but it actually wouldn't be too bad if only there was a little more variety. This is the only screen in the game, it never changes, and they should have made the character a few ticks faster, or at least given you an option to adjust the speed. You do have the option to change the speed of the bombs between slow and fast, and you can toggle the magic bombs on and off, as well as an alternating two-player mode, but you're still slow as shit, and that really hurts the fun factor level. To sum it all up, once you start playing this game, you'll be wishing you were playing Donkey Kong instead.